Yeah. All right, so everybody grab your maps out of the bins, please. School's in, but these kids spend a couple of hours a day outside. Hang on, your names should be on them. Uh -huh. They're heading to Mud Mountain, and there's work to do along the way. While most people think being outdoors is probably good for us, researchers are saying nature offers serious health and academic benefits. What else lives in, our, in the swampy area? A recent review of hundreds of studies found mounting evidence of a cause and effect relationship. Experiences in nature led to improved attention span, self-discipline and physical fitness while reducing stress. Research also shows children with ADHD who take a 20-minute walk in a park can improve their symptoms similar to using a prescription stimulant medication. So how does free accessible greenery do all that? There are two different major theories as to why nature is good for your brain. And one of them, it's called stress reduction theory. So essentially it speaks to how humans evolved in nature. There's also a tension restoration theory, which says crowds, lights, traffic and noise force our brain to constantly focus, diminishing our overall capacity to pay attention. Nature doesn't require that kind of focus. Therefore, it doesn't tire out those powers of attention. It doesn't tire out your concentration. And it just lets you kind of enjoy and restore your brain. Some doctors and educators say it's time to drop standardized classroom testing in favor of outdoor education for at least an hour a day. They're being tested out here in this environment on a daily basis in a whole new way that even I can't tell you what the result is going to be. Uh, turtles, fish. Uh, foliage that is as big as us. What does it feel like? Free. Free. Yeah. These Ryerson University students meet up weekly at a local greenhouse. It's the only one I see of that. Research in adults the shows just know, looking at trees good. or even house plants can also lower stress levels. And the more you do it, the more it helps. They connect with uh, a, a sense of perspective, something larger than themselves, which can be really helpful. Feel this. Natural settings also promote warmer, more cooperative relationships. In conquering Mud Mountain, most of the kids at Gradale got dirty, but one got stuck. So they problem solved, even dug out his boots. That's teamwork. Simple lessons learned in nature can last a lifetime. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.